Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to, to RimWorld, Freedom's Drift, and I think the beginnings of our grand entryway. I'm still not sure what goes in here yet, but it's a nice diagonal shape in here. I think it looks pretty good. need to redo a lot of this area, though. In fact, I thought about throwing in a generator room over here. Six wood fire generators, and then... I know it's going to cost us components, but move around these guys such that we can get six uh, chem fuel generate, uh, generators in here since we're storing it over here anyway move the wood over to this area for storage and mix up another space right there for more of them so we'll kind of redo this these two will go away um, don't know if another solar panel is going to go back in or or what haven't figured that out yet there's not much room left for ground that I don't want to use for growing space but by taking these guys out, we can extend this greenhouse into this rich soil over here. But before Sea Stars gets too far into destroying all this, I want to make sure I hit some support over here. So hopefully we don't get any messages. But um, oh, we're just going crazy over here. Oh, I see. We're heading for bed. We got all the animals heading off into into sleepy zone here. Mm hmm. Um. Okay, Gnarly and David are, are nighttime constructors, but in the comments. Billy had mentioned that he was wanting a a slightly different kind of carpet, a red and black checkerboard. I thought it looked kind of interesting, and I went looking for him and couldn't find him because he's melee and I, he's over here. And why did he ever end up in the ranged area? I don't know. I mean, the, the melee brute squad, they need to stick together. They're, they're kind of outnumbered, so we need to get him back over there. So I thought I'd take this room over here and and a red and black carpet this area and kind of fix all this up for him but Billy and and uh, kind of trying to talk and be aware of what's happening over here I'm gonna go back come right back to Billy architect zone uh, roof this is the no roof zone can I get any more out of this I cannot all the rest is overhead mountain okay so five away three four five away from a support system I think we're gonna be okay in here I'm going to leave these for now till we get this in and decide we're probably going to have to leave one support. Well, one, two, three, four, five. It looks like it will work. Especially if we double up um, something like that. I'm, I'm not real sure, but we'll see. I think that will support everything out in this area. This wall will support everything out in this area, and this will be indoors. Then we're going to have to get walls inside here to a point to where we're not spanning more than 12 or 13 or 11 or 14. I hear so many different numbers, so I've, I've given up trying to memorize it. Just don't go too far or things go boom. Anyway, I think we're safe over there. So, Miss B and C Stars, you just have a ball. But Billy and Cyprian have been having fun here in their art studio and competing with each other and kind of mocking back and forth about, you know... <laughs> building uh, statues about themselves building statues and Billy said he was going to put down Cypher until it, you know, he built his own of him making a statue of him making a statue and it was kind of funny and I was kind of looking through here and I noticed we have a new one and Michael's thrown his hat into the ring of this, this controversy. He's put together one called Illness because I think I think um, uh, the the uh, the building of statues about yourself building statues has become an illness. It's, it's become rampant in our colony here. So Michael is tossing his, his two cents and he says on this work is representation of Cyprian assembling a complicated apparatus inside a sculpture while wiping sweat from his forehead. So Michael is another one of Cyprian doing one of Cyprian uh, lifts this sculpture seamlessly without Effort, seemingly without effort, a townsman stands in the background and the erotic style of the central scene clashes with the impressionistic depiction of the background. The illustration refers to Cyprian finishing construction on a, Cyp on, a, on a Cyprian sculpture. Sure. So, yeah, we've got lots of those going on. And that's a lot of what we're going to do out in here. I was hoping not to put a bunch of walls in here. I was going to kind of use the sculptures as walls. But we still have to have support within so many spaces. So something's got to go in here. That's not like a roof coming down. I think we just exposed something that allowed David, I think, to go and 
take down one more section of roof or something. Got to see what the final roof pattern is in here so that I know if it's possible to put a solar panel here or here. But what I'm thinking about is a little indent in the diagonal with two doors. And that's our entrance right there. We could take it in deeper one more. You know, we probably could. Hmm, two more? What if we were to... Hmm, it's got to come off of here. This design, if you realize what I'm doing here, you want to try to have at least two walls thick. And RimWorld always goes sideways. It doesn't count corners. If you were to create a square like so, what you've got is two by two with one wall on each side. These don't count toward temperature loss or other effects like that. They can't work side with a diagonal and and that's, that's the same thing as the square that was there as far as a room. So if I can keep it so that from every right, left, or up, down direction, there's a foot floor in there. Um, there's two. So even in this diagonal pattern right here, there's always a wall too thick all the way out that way or all the way out this way. So I wanted to make sure if I do change this, I'm going to have to change it by two, I believe. So one, two, so it's got to come off of here. And that way, and then a, a door there and there. That kind of looks good, nice and spread out. They can go any way they want, like some great big grand entrance hall. And then, hmm, okay, we have this built. It doesn't matter where these are because this is what's supporting the roof out over here and there's no roof there. Okay, so I can go ahead and tear this one down. Deconstruct. What? That. And that one at least. Does that one go away? We got we got to be too thick. Hmm, I feel like I missed something there. Well, I'll play around with that probably after the episode trying to make it look just right. Something's yeah, something's wrong. I think I'm off by one, but oh, there's a lot of weird clickings going on. Interesting. Out of sync mining. <laughs> um, let's get rid of that floor that I just noticed. Remove floor. Right. I lost it. It's probably under one of mine. It was right there and there. And there? Oh, I see. That's that's not the floor I want, but I can get rid of those. Sure, that's concrete floor. But where did the little slab of wood go? I don't see it anymore. Huh. Okay, well, I'll, I'll find it later, I'm sure. Um, yeah. So, caribou. Crazy, crazy hunt. We've got radar grabbing the last of the turkeys. That's it? We got it. Oh, I, I took them to the furthest that I dared go before they broke. Oh, just come on, just one more trip. Come on, you can make it, you can make it. And just kept setting them back and oh, they were grumbling under their breath and they were they were calling me names and oh, oh, oh. Eric, why don't you tear that down for me? Or were you going to eat or something? No. There, there there and if you fail a construction perfect that's what i want take it down <laughs> but i think it's this path right here i think it is but i've got to stare at that again does that make it too deep if i do that i go here don't know it's hard to me to visualize it without while i'm talking i want to just quiet down and just kind of work at it a little bit at a time and think it through and when i talk i'm distracting myself so i won't worry about it too much there's the fridge. And there's stuff stacked on top of stuff, stacked on top of stuff. Make sure I had enough room, I went ahead and fully... Oh, 94. Forgot about 94. A little tiny 94 that piglet that went out there and got shot. Back to normal. We've got a little blood loss yet that's making up. In fact, there's 7.7% .7 left. Otherwise, he's going to be just fine. Yep. Anyway, and we've got kibble, and this the baby chicks did hatch last time, so there's all the chickens, so you get a sense of where all the chicks are, and that, that dozen chicken or chicks did hatch. But I was saying over here, I 
Um, I have no idea. Caribou. Oh, um, I had George go and take out all of the chickens, the roosters that were cold and, and sitting in here to give us some space back. So little by little, we're gonna try to work the uh, um, try to, to work these guys through the system very carefully and and cautiously. So we're behind on meals right now, which is allowing us to cook a bunch of stuff. We were behind on kibble, but I see it's all piled up in here outside of its stockpile. So there, and there's some more out over here. Uh, we're slowly bringing that in right there. Yeah. So little by little, it'll all start to count. Um, but let's turn this guy back on. Barring a power outage, we should be okay for a long time on meat. And there's a lot of Z's in here. We got pigs sleeping in our freezer. Mental break risk. Uh, Radar, who was injured and got shot during that. Oh, are you on a? Why did you go for, for? No, 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 no. Can well, come on, mm -mm. Radar. Come over and get a real meal. Reserve by Tomislav. Come over and get a real meal. And <laughs> somebody go put that away. Daniel, your refueling generator is great. Our power is pretty hurdy over here, so let's do something about that. In fact, let's pause a second so I can think without stress. You then reinstall, which is what? It is a B, okay? So you B here and you B here, okay? And Grandma, you're using a telescope and you really need it so much so that eight in the morning, if I did this, would I, you're viewing art, go find a television. That, that'll that numb the mind and make you feel all kinds of joy. And, and you, uh, you'll get, you'll get happy real quick. Otherwise I need somebody to haul me four batteries. And wow, I just hit the, the DPI button on my mouse and I am all over the place. There we go. <laughs> oh, the world was moving too quick. I need someone to haul four batteries and I don't want to touch the one that's making the granite blocks because I really could use those granite blocks. You're making an armor vest. Oh, we probably need them too, but I don't want to spend the components. So I'm going to suspend that one, that one, and that one and say thank you, but uh, cancel and get back at least a couple of components. Okay, so let's not have you do that. Um, you could do medicine though you be now you won't be going to bed just yet let's get you over here and and make some use of yeah let's let's push our medicine supply up a little bit smooth smooth what bills oh we're satisfied 150 medicine well okay fine then natalia i will get you to install me a battery and that's already turned on great and who else, Eric, what you doing? You are building a, a, your line goes up to here. You're flicking a switch. I click more than an Eric. That's why. You're flicking a switch. Someone else can flick the switch. Why don't you come up and put in battery number two. And who else is down this area? Klaus, you are hauling steel to granite auto door. I'm not sure I want to put in that auto door yet, so let's... Here's something I had forgotten you could do. I can forbid construction projects, and that's like really nice. Right there, forbid you, forbid you, forbid you. And yeah, in fact, tell you what, until I get a chance to really think this over, we want some kind of a nice entrance in here, but I don't know what it looks like. So let's just stop it right there until I get a chance to think it through. But we'll leave that one for now. But Klaus, in that case, why don't you just drop that and pop me in a battery over here so that we're good for the night. And we just have to get to where we can turn off this light. That's all it's going to take to balance us out on this side of the river. So once that's done and we can shut down more of these heaters, and once all the heaters go off, we can kill all the power in the area, break down the generators, move them around. Hopefully by then we'll have more components in which is what I wanted to talk about right now, but I want to cancel all those before somebody builds them. Um, we need a trip to go find components. And world, I'm thinking, well, I don't know if that caribou herd migration was truly our next major event. It might be, in which case we could load up 
muffle on go right now, but I don't trust it. Maybe it was, but to me that was more of a of a passive event. It wasn't an aggressive event. It wasn't an attack. It was an opportunity. Like, um, oh, I can't think of their names. The 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 mythical beast that pops in that has a really expensive horn. So I don't consider that an event so much as just an opportunity. I'm not sure what the game does, but if that in case that was not our our next aggressive event against us, then I'm gonna wait for one more. But once that's done, I think we'll pop into one of these. I wonder if it's faster to go down the river. Is that such a thing as river travel? Or is that going to be a thing? I know road travel really goes fast. Once we get to here, you know, it's, it's 10 days to get to here, but it's only two days to go all the way down to there. So it's road travel's quick. I just don't remember if it's a river travel is. So if I were to do this and go from, is it right click? There to there? I've never seen that little symbol before. Oh, I see, I'm always out here. Ah, okay. Okay, from there to there is total time of one day. Let's go two spaces, make it easier. From there to there is 1.5 days. Okay, so from there to there is 1.5 days. It's the same whether you're on the river or not. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure. So pop that again, get rid of it. So we, it doesn't matter which one we go to, other than we can't go to these. These are these are not available. They're, they're too aggressive. It's tempered forest. Does it tell me what that means? Um, impassable. There we go. So we can't get to these places, but we can the one, two, three, four, five. And so one day away, take out um, a couple of veins of components and one day back. And then maybe even a second trip. And just see what we can do for really quick mining of, of surface components, rather than investing in an entire second colony in order to mine through a whole mountain and maybe find components and maybe not. So that's the thought there. And I think after the next, the next aggressive event whatever that is and I don't know if a mad animal counts the same as a siege I wish I knew how the game ticked in the background I'm not certain about that but was that the fourth one is does this tell me that somebody is hauling it grandma you're doing that but if I were to right click on this it won't let me okay so four is still available all right that's what I needed to know and before anybody moves around Alicia, you are digging at limestone. Who's right up in this area? I don't want to bug Bliss. And Huck won't do it. And Thunder, Thunder won't do it. And there's nobody else over here. So i got to find somebody in here. Kaya, your wood to passive cooler. Pass there's still a passive cooler hiding somewhere? What? <laughs> Where is there a passive cooler? I need to kill it. <laughs> Passive cooler. Okay, I gotta wander through and watch this one. You're heading where I want you to go anyway. So, we'll have you bring the fourth battery, but, um, Passive cooler. Hmm. Let's get this bank turned off. Uh, that one. And David flicking a switch. Then you're gonna come flick this switch. Oath Knight's got it. Mm, you get it instead. I don't know what part of the map Oath Knight's standing on right now, but what passive cooler are you working on so I can get rid of it? And we've still got our two components there, none over here. Kaya's grabbing a stack of wood to do a prison passive cooler. New. No. It looked like you were going here, Kaya. Goes through here. I don't. This is called a cooler. Passive cooler. There's a passive cooler hiding in there. Ah, kind of hiding underneath. We need to get the, the marble floors in just to just to have them in, and we need to get a lot of these delivered. Michael won't. Michael will deliver. No, that's hauling. That's hauling. I can't have you do this, right? It's construction. Oh, nice. You do that one. You do that one. You do that one. Let's clear some space in here. And there was one more going to... Where? 
Anything left up here to send up? No. Michael, your needs are probably only enough to handle three, so I'll leave it at that. Okay, let's make some space in here. And pass the cooler is done, so Kaya. I forgot about Kaya. You, on your way back, can bring a battery for me. Thank you. David is installing a battery. He's flicking a switch. No point in charging this up. Let's put all the charge into a single bank and get some, some real progress going on. Meanwhile, Klaus can toss these guys in and Natalia and there's Eric bringing his. And David, you're now using a telescope and you don't really need it. I could get you doing something like, hmm, what is the, oh, okay. Like, sure, bird meat has rotted away in storage. That's the second one that's happened. I know they do have a lifespan. You get there eventually, especially over here because it's just a refrigerator. Oh, it spoils in nine days. It really is a refrigerator. That hasn't been a problem before because we've always cooked as fast as we could bring it over, but now the meat's going to be a problem. Yep, uh-huh. Okay, let's take this one up or down. So we are sitting at 34. Let's take it down into freezer temperature. It was going to be a fridge just for role play wise. You don't really cook with frozen foods, but yeah, I think it needs to be. And you know, guys, I was just kind of suggesting this. I haven't had time to really think it through and we're, we're building it. Um, because I wanted to get a chance to see if I remove these. Do I move the path down and run along here instead of popping through a door right there? And that's components. And I don't want to spend the components till I'm certain that's where the door goes. And hmm, I'm just going to keep Kaya distracted. There's lots of other things to do, like building a bedroom for Billy. Yeah, Kaya, you pop in here wouldn't work on a wooden dresser. And who else is insisting on working this here? David, you want to build a wood fire generator. Thank you. Let's get one of those going. We'll get it wired in and maybe get a, a surplus going so we can tear this area down and then eventually tear this down and build new ones in this area so that we've got six of the chem fuel generators in here and six of the wood generators in here and then leave the bank of of six solar generators over here and maybe this will still sneak in somewhere so that this big part is over the river is what i'm thinking i just don't know how to do that and not stick it right in our front door and not stick it underneath this this outcropping so maybe it's right here in fact we can kind of test that right now can't we is there any chance of there isn't by the time i get that in there the back half is still under the mountain so it won't work i'd have to get it to right there to do it and that's possible nope nope the building's in the way yeah now the mountain's in the way there's no more wood there's no more wind generators going in this side that's just a part of what of life now i can't get anything else inside unless we were to discover another valley or something somewhere like this one did on us you know, a good size one, we can get a generator down there. So if this generator comes out, because this building is, is going to go in here, and it needs to go all, almost all the way through. It needs to end right about right there. So it leaves room for a pathway that actually has to cut in over here. So yeah, let's, let's give Kaya new jobs to do. So you're going to do that, and who else? Oh, Natalia jumped in there and did that on her own. Good. We need more components. Oath Knight's going to do some research. Cool. Finally, he felt that uh, that he could do that. Even though all of they got all the chopping done, wow! And I queued a whole bunch of it up over here. They got it done. They did it. Okay, lots and lots of wood. Now it just needs to be hauled in. So otherwise, let's go through our constructors. Handy. I saw a Klaus down there. Wait a minute. You are ah. You're getting our our back door sealed up over here. Good job. Um, should that be? It probably should. Fill me a back up to the back door. Right there. And when you're done with that, bring me all the goodies to fill that in. Okay. So, double walled there. Just like we're double walled all down through here. Okay. Um, anyway, Andy, you are playing horseshoes. Needs, yeah, you really you really do need it. Um, let's shift you over to, to watching TV too. You can... You can watch uh, Playing Billiards. You can watch, uh, jump into the series of Longmire on Netflix. I finished that 
a month ago and wow that was good I really really enjoyed that series Longmire real interesting series of a sheriff in a little county in Wyoming Absaroka County I can't talk and read that line I'm, I'm, I'm watching for targets each time that's why I can't find it okay I can't talk let's just flick through find the television but yeah if you ever get it, if you haven't seen it yet haven't heard of it get a chance to uh, to pull up what are you stockpile zone cancel um, look up the series Longmire and at least take a sneak peek at it maybe there's something on YouTube that'll let you peek into the series but it, uh, it was it was something that I really enjoyed it's kind of like this I mean it's it's a, a western a modern western kind of a feel to it I thought it was kind of fun I did set hats all the hats into here but I see the pigs haven't been uh, taking time to move them around yet they're still doing other things um, we got to handy and I never did anything oh watching television okay constructors um, Tomislav, you can construct what you're doing. You're harvesting strawberry plants. Okay. We're freezing this stuff now, so we can't harm it. All right. Um, but we could, Shantigo, you could clean up in here, haul some things around, so that we can get more stuff into here and out of here. Some more can be brought into here. So this can be brought into there. Some more can be brought into here. So that, yeah. Because... We're going to find out that we're going to have vegetables out there not doing anything. I wonder if we should kick these numbers up. We have a lot of cooks. We could absorb more now. And we definitely have the, the food supply now. I don't have to worry about burning all our food into fine meals and having nothing to make kibble out of. That's That was the worry before. I didn't want to get into two or three hundred meals because I was always on, in danger of not being able to make kibble. But we're not really there yet. Or there still. So, fine meal... Let's add 50 to it. Close and find meal 50. And over here, in case we do ever get back to this stove here, details 85, so 50. Okay, so that'll burn through a little bit more. Shantico's cleaning that area up. In fact, let's actually do a clean up. Clean up, get the kitchen ready to. we already cleaning. We've got, we're stuck in a door. Okay doing that and they're moving good they're moving corn and rice into there someone needs to dump some some meat into there uh, why don't you go ahead and haul these and haul these and just kind of clean this area up for me okay so that's that we adjust the meals still working through that would be Eric next you are putting in random things in bedrooms that's good but let's get you down here to Billy's room next and let's get some carpet in Work on the carpet there. What did we get here? Kaya built a good wooden dresser. Okay. And later on when we finally get done and we've got our, our Costco furniture aisle starting to build up over in here in this area, we'll, we'll go through and start picking through any of the really nice stuff and sh start shifting things back and forth and, and make that happen. But uh, David is sleeping. Kaya is a constructor. She's over here working on that. Kind of got away from while Boris giving birth. Oh, we got a peek. Oh, you are you're right here, and you popped out a little ninety-six. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Um. So you're you're having fun there, and I need you animals. Um. Sure. Sangria is a no. Sangria none. And try that again. Wild boar ninety-six needs to go to the kibble zone. And needs to be trained. Everything's happy over here. Uh, training, wild boar, you're all where you belong. Did we ever get our squirrel done? We did not. And I can't specifically tell Sangria to go work with a squirrel. So you are a nun. It just kind of, whichever one is closest, close by when it happens. Um, you're there. You guys aren't. That all looks proper. I think we're good there. All the check marks in that column are good. And nope, we got three there to do. Okay, we're good. Yeah, good enough. Okay, so that was Kaya. That's right. I was going to have you do a little more of that. All right. So you are building red carpet. Um, actually, you know what? Let's get you to work on the not a wooden shelf. Let's get you to work on the. Hmm. 
How about the Muffalo Leather Chair? Oh, Eric was already kind of claiming that one, huh? So what's Eric doing now, then? Eric is hauling cloth to the red carpet. Ah, he's bringing cloth to that. Okay, well, maybe you'll fill in more carpet. I see. Um, further down the line here. Radar sleeping. Liss, you are busy making those. We've got a gnarly. And that is it for our constructors. And, Bill, I want to get you back. Where are you at? Before... Ah, I'm going to leave you alone. You're over here planting away, and, man, I don't want to make you run in there. Although you're not that far away. But, oh, that's right. We're, we're powered here. Or we're, we're at least accessible here. That makes this available much easier. Okay. Then, in that case, I want you to try to find your plasteel um, mace. Really good one. That is Cathra. I'll check her out in a minute. Um... We got a sniper in there. So what here built that somebody just felt the need to bring your mace over to? I don't see it. Was it over there? There's no new shelves and bedrooms yet. Uh, over here. Huh. But, oh, you're, you're going to fill that in too. Okay. Where did your, your mace go? I made you range for that hunt. Mace. New. New. Boy, I wish there was a way to click and find. There's no way that I'm aware of, but somehow your mace got vanished. Got a pile of these building up in here. You took it off right here. It was right in that doorway. So it's been put over here. Okay, so let's have you plant whatever you're planting and then come over here and, and do that one. Actually cancel that. Uh, consuming a fine meal. Well, okay. If you're going to do that, then yeah, come over and grab this thing. Where did I see it? Up here? No, over here. Right there. Okay. Equip that one, and you get turned into medicine. So, clear all. And manufactured medicine, you are going to be both. Maybe there's a chance we can accidentally get a stack of each over there. That would be nice. Be nice to get some herbals and some uh, blues in there but we've got lots of wow we have lots of cloth in here good so back to our constructors gnarly's up he is playing poker and he is fine before you guys all go to bed oh this has been done and gnarly come on over and get uh um what was whoa stop whoa okay uh oath knights carpeting done Hunter lacks weapons. That means that Bill needs to no longer be a hunter. And break risk of Cathra. What is with Cathra? You're right here. You are... I went away. Oh, it was right there. Okay. Um, you're not a piece of marble. Okay. Needs. What's up? You just need to rest. You got plenty of food. Go for it. Okay. That's fine. Your bedroom is in good shape. I won't bug you for anything else. So, Oath Knight has not gone to bed yet. There was no other carpeting to be finished then, right? So, that was the, the pattern that Handy had picked out for her bedroom, and that looks really good. So I like the way that came out. Works well in a rectangular room, too. Ambrosia sprouted again. Where's this one? Way down there. So, the last stuff popped in over in this area. And if we wanted to, it's... It's 12% grown, so it's going to be a while. It's still cold outside. We're, well, we're outdoors at 60 degrees at 7 p.m. Hmm. So it's, it's spring. We're 3rd of April, May. So we're officially in the spring. That's why I was saying we could take off and go get those components soon. I just don't know whether or not the day we leave is a day that the biggest siege we've ever seen shows up. I just don't want to do that to, uh, to, uh, to those we've left behind. You know, it'll take me a day to get back, but usually you're done with a siege within a day. So, you know, we'll get back exhausted, not able to help anyway. So, won't do much good. So, what's going on here? We need to start killing power. That's probably a good idea. Um, 58 at night. I think we could probably go ahead and shut down some of these guys. Maybe every other one. Let's think about that. Uh, power V. So, right there. What was that? Oh, we're filling in this room. Okay. So you and let's take out you, V and yeah, I guess so. V. So there's what, three or four of them down. 
I'll leave the hospital running. Don't have one in this area. Don't have anything running in the jail. And up in here, we'll take down. We took down this one, so let's take down this one over here. Alternate. So you leave that one. Breakdown battery. Not one of my good ones. Ah. Oh. No, okay. That's only... I only lost half a battery. Okay. I can live with that one. Is there any more uh, heaters in here? Don't think so. We have two in storage, too. So, the two in storage that came out of rooms that were over here. Three in storage? Might even be three. They'd be here. One, two... Well, that doesn't help. There's two in storage. Okay, so two will help to heat whatever happens in this area. Yeah. David, you're up. Oh, you're the one that's helping in this area. So, sure, we'll give Cyprian a bed. And he hasn't come to bed yet. It is 2100. Miss a P, um, can you, you're right next to it. Can you bring me a quickly, some, you cannot work on, need material. We have no, no marble. We have no marble. They've always been working on granite over on the marble bench. That's because nothing's been hauled. Oh. Okay, I know we have marble. Well, actually, you're all limestone. You're all limestone. Come on, go up a little higher. You're all limestone. We're we're out of marble. Oh wow, we're out of marble. Do you ever think that would be possible? That we would have run out of marble? We got some marble out here because I had to get rid of it. So okay, well we'll let this run. Let's take you off of marble and turn you onto limestone instead. Since we have so much of that. You are marble. Okay, so let's do this then. So we're going to copy and J. That's it. I think this might be a stash of it up here, too. I, we had so much marble at one time, I just had to dump it somewhere. Um, you're a J, and actually, break, and you are a cancel at that doorway. And let's grab a new dumping stockpile from there. Now, let's actually delete that one, too. And then a new dumping stockpile from there to there. Let's leave one space on each side so we can stack a doorway easier. And you can be J. Okay, so that's that. Let's mark all of these. Let's zoom out a little bit. All of the marble for hauling. Let's get that brought in. Then we'll start getting marble chunks again. So yeah, it's going to be a while then before marble blocks. It'll be a while before we can fill in any more plant pots and that sort of thing. I saw that coming down the side of the screen. I thought that was the weirdest looking drop down message I've ever seen. Um, but uh, Billy was wanting kind of a black and red look. We've got what they call dark and that's that's gonna look pretty good. Whoa. Chicken is being attacked by a red fox. We've got a fox in the house. Uh-uh. Let's red fox hunt. And we'll chicken. Chick seven is dead. Oh man. Okay. Who's up? Grandma, you don't run very fast. You stay there at alert. And I need somebody in this area that has got a quick, fast, or accurate shot. Gnarly, you you've got the shotgun. You only have to hit one time. Let's give that a try. Gnarly, hunt that thing. Let's let's see what happens here. Natalia, you're back up. Get up over here. Nope, Gnarly. I didn't mean for you to do that. I want you to hunt. Alright, you get over there. Natalia, you... I don't know if you'll automatically do this or not. So I'll be curious to see how this works. You're heading to there. You're heading to here. And... You should automatically alert if he makes contact. If it's dark. Okay. Well, here's one of the few times we can actually use that shotgun. Uh, Grandma, you 
Actually, you need a meal. I'm going to release you. Okay, I need I need another backup. David, you can go thump on it. Yeah. Draft, come on over here and go to there. And if he does come running in here, you can thump. Oh, come on, Gnarly. All right, Natalia, you're going to help out. Fire out. And we're getting bursts of three. When we were out here and he shot, he must have... It must have gone out of range, because he only shot once. I was thinking, that little range and only one shot? Whoa, that's that's really bad. But no, he's getting his three bursts. And... Okay. That didn't work the way I wanted. Um, okay, you're going after Natalia. You are just going to run for... There. Actually, you're going to go for there. I think that works. And David, you're going to back her up. The two of you can thump on it when it gets there. Oh, what do we got here? We're shooting again. Okay. Then David, you're there. Natalia, you're there. And we did it. All right. Good job, Gnarly. And we're losing power. That's not good. Why are we losing power? Did we blow out a conduit or something? I think we blew out a conduit. Um, no. I didn't swap these. Oh. All this time, we've been generating enough power to maintain. Interesting. Very interesting. We could almost, we almost have exactly what we need here. Hmm. Let's get you switched on. Let's get uh, David to do that for me. Already flicking. Great. And Natalia, go ahead and consume a fine meal and... Then maybe come back and work on com components some more. Okay. So, that was interesting. And I'm sure Gnarly or David are going to run back up here and patch every wall that we managed to, to shoot up there. Shantigo, you are using the telescope. And I'll just leave you alone. It's nighttime. There's some good stars out there. Makes more sense than using a telescope in the middle of the day. Oh, the meat. Oh, the meat. There's still a space or two left, so we're not we're not hurting here. But, wow. Okay, well, we're not losing any more meat. And we're cooking like crazy. And we're using up all of our components. So, when you're done with that one, Grandma, why don't you clean this up so it's a much nicer environment to work in. Alicia, you are grabbing a meal. And I'm going to get something to eat. David, you're repairing a battery. So, that's that one. And this one is auto door out here that could be important if we do have another raid coming in so well yeah we'll go with that and where am i 40 some minutes i'll go a little bit longer see if anything really exciting happens otherwise what are we doing here we want a bunch of statues in here we want some kind of a seating entertainment uh real nice statue laden beautiful wedding chapel in here so maybe not so much entertainment, but definitely a party and gather. Now the party spot's got to be in here, but the wedding chapel, marriage spot needs to be somewhere over here. So, and this is going to be probably a, a pathway through, and this is going to be, I don't know, I've got to figure out just how to design this weird space into functional areas with at least a support column here and there to kind of span the, the middle. Oops. Oops. <laughs> you, go away. I keep clicking the wrong things. Yeah, something like that. Looks like he goes there. Yeah. Nope. But, yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. But maybe not walls in here, but maybe support columns where they need to be so that the statues can be lined up. Boy, there's some weird noises going on. Sound like glass just broke. Hmm. And the component bench just fired up. And that's always an interesting noise. Let's see if it'll start up again. There it goes. We've got a, a motor turning on. Uh, probably time to kill power there. So, little by little, just fine tunings getting us into spring. Um, two or three more days. We can shut down all of our grow lights and open all the roofs up again. Yeah. And actually probably turn another one of these fields into what's getting close 80% grown 
potatoes. That's that whole area there. Rice, 83%. Let's do a round of, um, of cotton in here. No, that's going to be the outside. That's going to be the outside. All of you guys are cotton here in just a few days. In fact, we can, we can start doing this. There we go. Let's start planting the outside. That'll give these guys a lot to, to get done. Over here, there, there. Need to combine all these into one, make it easier, but, uh, um, yeah. Let's start the sowing. Work, we're close enough now. Give all of our growers something to do. Perfect. And out over here, got this guy, got this guy. And in between episodes, I'll click around, make sure I didn't miss anything. But, yep, it's time to get the sewing going for the spring. Get a raid under our belt, load up, and head out into uh, the next map tile over. See if we can't find a uh, couple of good stashes of components. Bring back maybe 30 or 40. And maybe then go through another raid, then go off and get another 30 or 40. And then finish building all the things, just like the... Like this guy over here, the ground penetrating scanner, and the long range radar. Didn't put that out yet, I don't think, because I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to put it. You need power, don't you? Power conduit. Yeah, you need to be into the grid. And, well, for now, for convenience sake, we're just going to do that. And I need someone to actually do it. Cathra is sowing an area. Sangria is milking. Manuela is sowing an area. I need a builder. Oh, that's all what I'm hearing over here. Yeah, go ahead and get that one done. And if you go into that one, you won't. So let's get you to quickly put in all of that conduit. Grab the steel that you're right next to. Let's fill it all in, get it done. And I wanted all the conduit done over in one other place while I'm thinking about it. I want all this wired up. In fact, the whole run here. So who can do that real quick before we sign out? Radar, you found some marble. Yes, please. Thank you. Um, give me a handy. Handy, you are building more walls on me. <laughs> Handy, I come on over here and let's fill in all the conduit on this side. Gnarly, leave those alone until after the episode. i got to figure out what I'm wanting over there. Can you fill in for me all of the granite to, to make that wall finished? And we did get this done, so I need to lay out more of these after this episode too and get more of that cloth over here so we can get cloth and shelves all through this area. And Eric, you are so busy over there. Um, can you fill in another need material? Oh, you, all the steel has been brought in. Let's copy, paste you in, paste you in. And let's grab Eric and you can fill in the blanks on that one. And are you already doing this one or can David building condo? He's busy. Can Kaya, who is consuming a fine meal, and then she can walk over and work on this one. Okay, that'll give you guys something to do. And Gnarly's already busy. Who else is in there? Vliss is probably going to work on blocks and radars already. Okay, so that's all the construction figured out. But yeah, I think it's probably time to shut this one down. I got some head scratching to do. It's the idea is is forming, but I don't know what it really looks like. And I won't do too much of this tonight. I'll probably do it before the next episodes. So if you got any ideas on what could be done in here, what would look good? Where do, where do we enter the base from here? Do we enter into the rec room? Do we have a, a double wall here and have this ground hallway that you actually... I don't know. I'm not real sure how to enter this. Do we enter right here? For convenience sake, this is probably the entrance right here. A pathway that comes down into our storage because we're, we'll be bringing things from here constantly over and putting them on shelves. So it makes sense that this is our pathway. So, we, you know, we do something up through here and then branch off from there, you know, a different colored flooring that goes up and then hits this entrance area with it. And then something there, something there, something up there. But I'm not sure what those somethings are, so let me know if you have any ideas. But with that, I'm going to call this one finished. It's been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you later, folks. Bye-bye.